But uh, the Tortured Poets Department <laughs> is the name of the album. Uh, first single came out. I can't remember the name of it, but it's got Post Malone on it. And so it's I, called Fortnite. Fortnite. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I thought, is this going to be about the video game? So no. I started listening. No, it's not about the video game. And I don't get it. I don't understand the obsession. It's like, I'm like, oh, this is a boring <laughs> song. Um, Swifties, I, don't come after me. I'm sorry, but it is. No, it is a boring song. And I'm not a Swiftie, but also I felt the same way. I listened to the whole song, oh, and I said, this is an absolute boring drop. I Maybe the rest of the album's better. I just started listening to the Tortured Poets Department single. So, okay. Yeah, and it was pretty good, the beginning of it. So that one is shows some promise. I'm just so happy that she released another album. I mean, <laughs> I thought just when we were thinking maybe she'd take some time off, there'd be a summer where we don't have to hear anything about her until the football season starts again. And, oh, wow, she blessed us all with the gift of her creativity and dropped a new album. <laughs> Do you know there are Swifties all over the country who are... Sorry, uh, who are taking off school today? Their parents are letting them stay home. With they need friends. to because there are thirty-one tracks on this mf'er. Yeah. So I mean, it's going to you know take what? you all day to yeah, listen. Yeah, they're going to gonna listen for twelve hours straight and learn the words to every song. Oh. I'm like, are we really? You let your kids stay home for that? I would. That's a. It's an event for oh a huge God. fan. Yeah. Absolutely. I like I wish that. my parents would let have let me stay home on oh, big events in my life. Geez. It's really important when you're a kid that your favorite artist and the person you're obsessed okay. with. Okay, really, you know, absolutely. Really, it is the end really of the school important. year. I'm letting my kid take any the day kid off. Any could say that about anything. Well, this is my, really important to if me. If I would have went to my mom, are you kidding? I love it. I love it. Let your kid take the day off if they're a huge Taylor Swift The, the rule Why follower. Not? Our Karen over it's here, the rule follower. Anti-Karen now. You're being anti Why is that realize not, how that little... It's letting a kid have a fun day. That makes me an anti... That makes me not a rule follower. I'm letting my kid have a great day. They already have no school for just about everything. <laughs> <laughs> they never freaking go. Like, there's a reason... That, oh, you know, we got to take the day off because, uh, you know, it's, it's too hot for the kids to be in class. It's going to take the day off because it's too cold. They might have to wait at the bus stop. You guys are two of the most grumbling old men I've ever met in my life. I, you know, I it's swear. Just, I guess it's because I would have never gotten yeah, to you know what? I wouldn't something. have either, Here's but my... wouldn't you have wanted to? Yeah, you wouldn't know what? it have been a blast? Yeah. Like your favorite video game drops a new series or season or whatever the heck they're called. Because the real world the doesn't off? work that Who way. Who gives a crap, Lewis? Who actually, gives a crap? Actually, when the new Final Fantasy dropped, my son took a vacation day so he could play the game Why does everything have to suck because you don't like the world? So every day has to suck for the kids? in your house? Oh my God. I mean, let them have one nice day in their life. Be, my gosh. If it were one nice day, that would be it. But I think everybody listening and everybody here can already attest to the fact that high school teaches you absolutely jack squat about what you need for the real world. Yeah, and so you lived through it. I lived through it. Thick lived through it. We're all going to live. But again, I live in a household where I live in a household that consists of a generation that goes... Yeah, I'm going to take the day off work so I can go have lunch with my friends. So That's what? not how it works, moron. It does work that way <laughs> No, sometimes. it doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> at all. Because you have zero responsibility. You've learned zero responsibility. And I've said it before. We went from a bunch of... Uh, Walker, Texas Rangers to a bunch of Dr. Quinn medicine women. That makes no sense. Dr. Quinn medicine woman was a, like a hardworking freaking woman. What are you even talking about? What are you talking about? I, I asked for an explanation give... on that. Why does that mean that you are a it's, pussy? It's from Talladega Nights. You probably didn't see the movie, so you wouldn't get the well, reference. Well, I want the right. Re- I don't care about it being a reference. What does it mean? It means we, we're being becoming pansies. Yes. We're going for, to, Be- from being tough Americans to oh, being, being a doc- to being a doctor, a female doctor. I, I, That's a, a pansy. It's a, it's a, it's I'm mad right. about it. <laughs> I'm mad about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't I understand why you have to make everyone's life miserable because you don't. Oh you don't think God. the world li- works Be- like that? Because you make your kid go to school. I'm making one everybody's day. life miserable. No, I'm saying you wouldn't allow your kid one fun day because the were, world doesn't work that way. If it were just one fun day, that would be okay. But it's not. It's now a mentality. And then, <laughs> and then the kid gets out of college and goes. What do you mean I'm not going to make 50 grand a year? Uh, Popcorn <laughs> I mean, Pam says, I ditched for Luke and Laura's wedding. Amen, sister. Oh, my Amen, God. Amen, sister. All right, Chuck's with you on this one, Kelly. I just don't know why we have to be so hard yeah, on kids my, because the world doesn't work that way. Like, yeah. let them have one nice day in their life. 
But they don't, because here's where the hypocriticalness comes in. You can't come home in. from school and listen to it? Right, thank you. Here's where the hypocriticalness... Or I mean, I know that's not a word, so don't at me. <laughs> but did you take where, school off to listen yeah, to music? What are you doing here's where here? we become hypocrites. We want to give them one day to play to listen to Taylor Swift's album because they just need to be kids. But we want to shove a GD cell phone in their hand at 7 so they can grow up faster. <laughs> No, that's the babysit. From the guy whose head is always in a cell phone, I appreciate oh! your your perspective on this. Not always. <laughs> is it not? Uh, like, absolutely is. All, like, the only person okay in this room here, whose TikTok. head is not... Okay here, TikTok. Yeah, the only person whose head's not in their phone constantly is Thick Rick. He's the only one <laughs> whose head is not in their phone constantly. I'm sorry for interacting with Blitz Nation. I will not. Oh, man. oh that's what you're doing oh. over there? Oh, okay. All right. Danielle gotcha. says, for yeah. F's sake. Simmer down, Lewis. <laughs> Somebody says it sounds like they're listening to The View. <laughs> oh, that's Sorry a, about that. No. Oops, I'm uh, going to cut this hypocrisy. short Hypocrisy, thank you. I'll that's the word short. I was listening to. I quit. For. Your Rock Station.